A shot like this is done by attaching the camera to the Lego model. Build the camera and the car onto the same base of Lego pieces and put two pairs of wheels underneath the whole thing. By using the tracking function on the camera dolly, you can do a tracking shot like this. Let's hold that there. You can make an image sharp or blurry by playing with the focus. The camera's focus function can also create dramatic effects. Looks great. By building the camera onto the Lego car, you can capture the view from the inside of the car, as if you were the driver. You can create special effects by using the pictures from the library. This scene shows rain. Just add the pictures to the timeline. You can create masks like this binocular shape by making a picture in a painting program. Save the picture as a bitmap file and import it to the picture library. Then you can put the picture over your clip to create a special effect. This T-Rex looks gigantic. If you put it behind the mini skyscrapers and shoot the scene with the camera looking up from below, you might have to lift the dinosaur up to exaggerate the size even more. You can safely shoot this scene of Johnny Thunder dangling over the edge of a scary deep tomb by just tilting the model like this. How can you do that? Turn your model 90 degrees so it's on its side and put the camera at the bottom pointing up like this. Now you can defy gravity and make a stick or some other object fly through the air. Good. Not everything needs wings to fly. Try using a piece of clear plastic. Position the camera so that you can't see the edge of the plastic. Take the object you want to fly and stick it onto the plastic with a little modeling clay or double-sided tape. Shoot a frame. Now move the object a little bit. Take your hands away and shoot a frame. When you play back the frames, the object will look like it's flying all by itself. Take a look again. Johnny Thunder seems to be flying but he's really just attached to a string. The fast motion makes the string almost invisible. You can get some dramatic flying effects by moving the racing car with a stick. Make sure you position everything so that the camera does not see your hand or the stick. You can create all kinds of different moods in scenes just by picking music carefully. In the first clip, you will see a nice, calm day out fishing. And in the second clip, you know something really scary is about to happen. Try to time sound effects to match the action. And remember, if you add too many, your scene will just be confusing. For the maximum impact, you're better off timing your sound effects carefully and only using a few. You can have a lot of fun by using sound effects to play audio jokes. For example, what if you look like this and changed it to this? Let's hold that there. You can make Johnny Thunder run using stop motion. Fix the action figure's feet to the floor of the set with modeling clay or double-sided tape without letting the camera see. Take your hands away from the set and shoot a frame.
Now move Johnny's arms and legs like this and move his body a little forward. Take your hands away again and shoot a frame. Keep going with this procedure. When you play back the frames, it will look like Johnny Thunder is running all by himself. Cut! How do you make a vehicle move all by itself? It's easy when you use stop motion. Move the motorcycle a little, take your hands away from the set, and shoot a frame. Now do it again. Move the motorcycle, take your hands away, and shoot. The farther you move the bike, the faster it will seem to go. Keep repeating this step. When you play back the frames, it will look like the motorcycle is going all by itself. How can you do that? Stop motion lets you take down or build up any model you want, as if by magic. First, build your Lego model. Place it in your film set and shoot a frame. Mark the position of the model carefully using other Lego pieces. Now take the model out of the set and remove the top layer of bricks. Return the model to its position in the set and take away the markers. Shoot a frame. Keep going like this, taking away one layer of bricks at a time. If you want your model to come forward in the last scene, you have to move the model forward a little every time you return it to the set. Instead of taking down your model step by step, you can also try to build it up with this technique. If you put some foreground in your picture, you can hide the stick that moves the fireman. This looks like a real live dinosaur, but be careful that the camera doesn't see your hand when you're holding the gimbal. You don't need a motor to make this racing car drive. Attach a piece of string or thread to the front of the car and lay the string down the middle of the stunt ramp. By drawing the string in, you can make the car drive up the ramp and go exactly where you want to. <laughs>